On Positively Tampa Bay today, we're turning our attention to the annual Take Back the Night. More than 56 groups will come together this Saturday to inspire and empower survivors of sexual and domestic violence. The story of one local woman, Catherine, helps to bring home the point of how important it is for victims to know that local programs exist to help them. We've left out the details of Catherine's rape for the sake of younger audiences who may be watching at this hour, but instead we're focusing on her recovery and the advocates who've helped to make that happen. As soon as I heard the front door shut is when I got off the bed and just started wiggling it down the hall. After 911 arrived, a detective from the sheriff's office came in and explained to me that they would be taking me to the crisis center, kind of explained to me what it was. Got to the crisis center and I was greeted by a very nice nurse who took me into a real quiet, calm room. She explained how everything was going to happen. Once it was finished, um, I was offered a shower. I could shower before I left, a toothbrush. I was given some clothes to put on. me the very next morning to check on me the crisis center did how are you did the medicines make you ill um, here's some phone numbers here's you know we have we have crisis counseling we have group counseling we have one-on-one -on -one counseling whenever you're ready if the crisis center had not been there I would have been dragged through some cold hospital probably re-traumatized again that very same night I probably wouldn't have found counseling um, until I was in the floor and my mom forced it on me or something. I don't know where I would be right now. And we welcome Catherine to our studios this afternoon. Thank you for coming in. Also joining her is David Broughton, who is the CEO of the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. Um, Catherine, first of all, thank you for sharing your story. It, it really is so helpful to other victims who are out there who may not have come forward at this point in their lives. How, is, how important is it for for, for victims of rape and sexual violence to have an event like the Take Back the Night where folks are gathered and sharing some of their stories? I think it's important for survivors to have just um, a safe place, a safe place where they can go and they can, they can gather that little bit of hope that they might have lost, that they don't have to, to just live their lives, they can actually be owner of it again. For, for the advocates, David, who work at the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay, when you hear um, Catherine say I don't know that I would be here alive today if it wasn't for the help that I got at the at the crisis center um, it really um, is a wonderful point that you all are serving your mission and your community well people like Catherine are what inspire us you know we deal with problems that most of us don't want to think about much less talk about and so when we when we are able to help somebody on down the road of recovery after this terrible terrible event has occurred in our, their lives it's, it's just, just huge but we're also reminded that there's 56,000 women in our community who have been sexually assaulted, most of whom have, are unlike Catherine, never received treatment or help. We're there for them as well, and we hope that Take Back the Night will bring many of those ladies out, and, and many of them will seek, reach out to the Crisis Center for help, hope, and healing. And this is a chance for them to learn about the programs and their services that are available in our community. Before we run out of time, I want the viewers at home to know this is not just an event for the women, the ladies. Uh, men are also welcome to come. Absolutely. In fact, for every man who comes, we have a, a, a board member and donor who's going to give $5, and that, and the, that $5 will go to uh, our Sexual Assault Services program. Well, let's give our viewers at home the information. Please consider joining us. Um, we will be there, of course, here on ABC Action News. It's Saturday night, April the 16th in Hyde Park Village. The Take Back the Night event starts at 5 o'clock with community resources available. A local law enforcement officers will be there to answer questions. At 7 p.m., we'll have the ceremony and the march, followed by a candlelight vigil at 8 p.m. For details on the event, please visit them online at svtf.com. Thanks for watching, everybody.